Over the past three years, the UNESCO Regional Bureau for Science and Culture in Europe and the Aberdeen Charitable Foundation have joined forces to promote sustainable development by working with UNESCO-designated sites through its scientific programs, advancing the implementation of the 2030 Agenda through innovative research and education solutions. This is a very unique opportunity to work with a private uh, partner and uh, bring together our expertise uh, along with, with their support to promote uh, the environmental uh, educational priorities uh, of our organization. It is important learning for us as we think about uh, how we invest in, in different kinds of assets in different parts of the world. Um, but also it's an opportunity for us to be inspired uh, by the uh, commitment uh, that UNESCO have, that the people participating in the project uh, have uh, to try and generate solutions in some of the very different circumstances that they're all, they're all dealing with. From hands-on fieldwork to devising cutting-edge strategies and collaborating with local educational institutions, these projects have spanned across ecosystems and disciplines. Since 2022, involving five sites per annual cycle, 15 UNESCO-designated sites in Europe and North America have been selected to implement groundbreaking research and innovative solutions to address environmental and climate challenges. With the second year cycle coming to an end, the selected sites have successfully implemented their projects and shared the results achieved. Donc c'est un projet qui porte sur euh, enfin, l'étude des interactions entre le Kars et la rivière, donc euh, l'eau souterraine des Kars et la rivière du Célé en l'occurrence. Euh, donc là on est sur le site du Récel qui est une source, euh, une émergence qui arrive directement dans le lit du Célé. Mais dont on connaît mal la connexion avec la rivière, euh, tout se passe bah, en souterrain. C'est méconnu et ça demande du coup ben, des, des, des investigations scientifiques poussées pour essayer de, de bien comprendre la connexion. Et, et comprendre comment fonctionne la rivière pour ensuite se projeter, faire de la, une gestion adaptée ben, aux apports d'eau et se projeter aussi dans l'avenir. Uh, the drone that can, uh, can help us actually to identify the potential risks of certain terrains in respect of the fire. Uh, the drone comes in handy due to the topography and inaccessibility of the terrain uh, because of the sheer cliffs, uh, thick uh, vegetation. With the success, we can see that there was a great interest in the school from the south of Crne Gore, that they showed a great interest, enthusiasm, and that they really showed a great level of knowledge when they were asked about the topics we were talking about. Rivia a fost foarte interesați și încântați de această activitate. În primul rând pentru că au făcut ei și au efectuat experimentele ei înșiși, iar în al doilea rând că a fost echipă. We did now a water analysis regarding the chemistry of waters and maybe in the near future we can also go on to analyze uh, how the water impacts the biodiversity and um, maybe something related to microplastics. As part of the research component I was looking into a number of different tools to measure natural capital on farms so that included biodiversity, uh, water quantity, and soil health and a number of other aspects of farm sustainability. No, I think as a farmer, it's been enjoyable and interesting to be involved in this natural capital assessment project. And I think it's important that things work from a farmer's point of view on the ground. And I hope my feedback has been useful to the project.
It's been a privilege and an honor to work with faculty, students, and community members throughout the Champlain Adirondack region to produce the Atlas for Climate and Environmental Change. We hope that the Atlas and the framework developed with the project may serve as a catalyst to support future endeavors for climate atlases, UNESCO sites, and then also the Aberdeen Foundation. Thank you very much for this great opportunity. This has been a day of exchange of information and I think it was very insightful for all of them, those who have gone through already the projects and those who are starting to come together and also uh, establish a network. I'm really enthusiastic to see uh, how the project results have been sustained through all these amazing follow-up initiatives, including longer-term projects, research activities, contributing to evidence-based policy recommendations, or transforming into innovative models at the local level. Firstly, I'll say that it's been great to hear from um, other UNESCO sites because we don't get the opportunity to interact internationally a lot, so that's been really, really fruitful to hear all the different projects that are happening, um, the different synergies that are created between the projects. For the project's third year cycle, five UNESCO-designated sites across Europe and North America have been selected by the advisory board composed of UNESCO and the Aberdeen Charitable Foundation. Throughout this cycle, the selected sites will work to deliver research, education, and innovation activities in the areas of environment and climate change continuing to promote the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Entering its final year, the results achieved by the sites of all three cycles will be scaled up as best practices at the regional and global level by the UNESCO Regional Bureau for Science and Culture in Europe, in collaboration with its partner, the Aberdeen Charitable Foundation, and through UNESCO member states and its networks, 